This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to make a beautiful website. Hey, good morning. Um, I am doing an outfits video this week and today I'm gonna do the most, I wouldn't say dressed up day, but I would say the most effort day. I was halfway through doing my makeup. I just did the base. I was like, whoa, 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 hold up. Maybe explain to the people what you're doing. Basically going to try and do the whole fox eye, TikTok girl, makeup vibe maybe i'll pick an outfit inspired by that as well i mean all i have to do is pick something from brandy melville but yeah i'm not up long i have to take out my heatless waves so i look a bit crazy also mother nature has me in her grips i'm in the throes of it um, and i just wanted to feel good today i wanted to feel i wanted to feel cute you know as a retired slob who sometimes relapses i am a big believer in that your clothes make a huge difference to how you feel in terms of like your mood and just how you feel about yourself sometimes not that you should attach that to things but um if i want to be productive if i want to feel good putting on a nice outfit and feeling a little bit together even if no one else is going to see definitely does it for me so i'll be sharing some of those type of outfits that are still comfy. You guys know me, I'm not like a high maintenance girl when it comes to clothes. But yeah, I just wanna share what I've been wearing and hopefully you'll get some ideas. Do you get inspired? I would love if you tagged me on like an Instagram story or something, that would be cute. I'm not gonna do like a whole ass tutorial, but um, I have yet to do that thing that girls do when they're stuck inside for long periods of time, which is experiment and play with makeup. So I'm excited to see how it looks. I haven't changed up my makeup routine in a long time. So I'm hoping that I can maybe switch something up in my routine okay so how did we do but yeah i tried to take a cue from all of these bloody talented like 16 year olds on the internet currently it's really fun it took me ages like definitely over an hour um and i didn't even have the right like brushes and ugh, um so i'm glad i didn't try and film a tutorial but try to do this really elongated eye i didn't do like the snatched thing like i was trying to pull my hair back and tie it back um and then i just felt like no you're you're too old to be catfishing like that um but I just tried to create that shape as much as I could with the makeup and then obviously took out my heatless waves. It's so annoying because like this lens is like not a flattering lens. I feel like I look so different on a DSLR and then different again on my iPhone. Don't judge me. I have to look at my face a lot. I notice these things. Um, but yeah, I did the faux freckles with the freck stuff that I showed you a couple of videos back. And I'd like to try and do it a little bit softer with like a brown. Hey ho! We're here, we're feeling yourself. I put on my cute Are You My top. It was a bit weird that I've put on shoes to show you this look, but I'm just gonna show you how I would style it if I was spending my weekend in Williamsburg in the sunshine instead of being stuck in my flat. Put on one of my favorite pairs of vintage Levi's at the moment. I just wish they were like just a smidgen taller, but they're like in terms of um, fit. They're still one of my favorites. Jeans, finding a pair of jeans, ladies, is an art form. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what I would wear. I just have some super ga, little canvas trainers on. Yeah, nothing fancy, but if I was kind of running around the weekend, I think this would be a cute sort of, I don't know, running around with your girlfriends or your boyfriends type of outfit. If you're wondering, I'm just rocking like those uh, silicone nipple covers, like the skin colored ones. I love them. I've had the same pack for or the same pair for like three years and you just wash them and keep reusing them so they're perfect when you want to wear a top like this without a bra but still not have like you know not have like too nipply you know oh my goodness i still love this top i'm so glad i got it like i know it's expensive but i just woo, i love it i love it so much obviously the jeans are vintage but and other stories have lots of pairs that are very very similar and i do believe they're sustainable i think all of and other stories denim is sustainable now most of it is don't really know what else to say about it uh, my hair is after getting extremely long i feel like sure or something and i'm just having so many regrets about all the times i bleached and cut my hair like so many regrets look at me look at me in the eyes do not do it Oh my god while we're here do you guys want to see um the jeans that i got back from the tailor he mailed them back to me i got two more pairs of jeans altered what the hell it's my channel there's no rules there's no rules i think we forget this as youtubers and i'm trying to let go of my um 
attachment to having a very specific video structure and I think you guys just like it when things take a bit of a organic turn you know we're just out here going with the flow okay so this is the first pair i got taken up they're redone i got them in the sale last year and um yeah i just wanted them taken down one size so we took an inch and a half from the back because um basically the way the pockets were we couldn't take them in anymore so the max you can take in denim you're pushing it sort of at two inches on the waist just because they take the the fabric off this middle seam so obviously if you take too much fabric off too close to the pockets and there's not going to be enough of a gap so this was like the max we could do it was like an inch and a half i do love these jeans they're these like really big knee ripped jeans i think they're super cool i feel like i also need to get them tapered a little bit as well so the leg just so that it doesn't look so square at the bottom these are my Eagles jeans, another investment pair of jeans from last year. And this is a nice thing about like good quality rigid denim and why I don't buy stretchy denim because you can get them altered. We went for the max taken on these, which was two inches and um, like they're fine, but they still feel very big. Absolutely adore Eagles jeans. However, I will say they run really really big like these were i got my normal size in these last year which was like a 28 and they were so big like they were maybe a size and a half too big maybe i'll just do that little you know the shoelace trick where you tie a shoelace through the belt hoops and just kind of like snatch it back i used my same taylor maurice in williamsburg garment company pretty much the only dedicated denim tailor that i've ever found in new york and i've i've been looking for one for over a year Oh, the light is blessing us today. And here I am with super puffy, half dried, damp hair, ready to show you my outfit of the day. Now, I wouldn't classify this as much of an outfit, something you've seen me wear a lot, but at the end of the day, staying inside, and this is what I've been wearing. And you guys seem to really like these sort of cute, loungy outfits that I wear sometimes more than my actual outfits. So I thought I'd kind of share where to get these types of basics. Not wearing shoes, obviously, but yeah, this is sort of like my favorite thing to lounge around the apartment in. It's just comfy. I feel good in it. It's flattering. What can I say? It's my go-to when I'm in the flat. So bottom half, we have what I like to call swarts, sweatpants, shorts. Um, they're in an athletic cut. That's what you have to look for if you want a style like this, the kind of one that, you know, the ones that kind of dip up like running shorts. And in my opinion, the cheapest place to get them is H&M. H&M do them all the time. They're super cheap. I've had these for so long. They've been washed a million times and they haven't even really faded all that much. My biggest regret last summer was not getting them in white my biggest biggest regret because i ended up buying a way more expensive pair waiting for the sun to stop being so naughty come on at this point you will know that i live and breathe in a good tank top this is another uh pretty cheap basic that's just washed really well personally i always like tank tops with this kind of finishing like the thicker rib just because i think it always makes it look just that teeny bit more expensive it's not an expensive tank top but those are just details that i look for as well as the raw hem um obviously a cropped one i get most of these i kind of get them from all over the place but this one is brandy melville not the most size inclusive but you ask me where i get them that's where i get them and um i feel like they're really reasonable for like the quality that you get seeing that my outfit was nothing to write home about not that it is most days but th this is simple this is simple so let's show you something a bit more colorful a little part of my day today finally got a piece of artwork that i had framed like a month ago back from the framers they were able to bring it here and i finally got to hang it up i've been really dying for it to come i feel like now i can finally start building uh, my gallery wall a little bit the lighting is gonna go crazy now but here it is um it's an original magritte exhibition poster and uh, i love it it was a beautiful gift a really thoughtful gift from kahal that's 
so dark my camera's trying to adjust maybe this would be better yes okay yeah so that's kind of how it looks for perspective it looks a lot bigger in real life i feel like this wide angle lens just distorts everything it distorts my face it distorts the size of this space pull in some other colors just i love how graphic it is and magrish is obviously one of my favorite artists very happy to have it up yeah i'm excited to pull more personality in the, into this space obviously everything is quite minimal where i really want to show like my personality and my taste is in the artwork that I'm going to be choosing for this flat. So like this wall and the entranceway wall. I got it done at a local framer and oh my God, you guys, he was so cute. Like it was not um, a cheap job just because I, it would have been a lot cheaper if I basically got the regular glass and not the anti-glare glass, but you know, your girl is extra as usual. But I didn't even mind because I just love working with artisans and local people. If any of you are in the Bushwick area and you're looking to get something framed, I will leave the name of his business in the description below because he's still open. Frame shop and everything is such a mood. Like I'd love to go in and photograph him in it. I briefly interrupt this broadcast to let you know about today's sponsors, Squarespace. I mean, you guys already know I'm a long-term user and a fan of Squarespace and they are just the one-stop shop for like every everything website related that you need and the best thing about it is with the platform you can do it all yourself from the comfort of your own home if you've been at home and thinking of kickstarting a new project or somewhere to put your work or an e-shop a blog anything like that check out my link squarespace.com slash you can check out the free trial you can play around with so many gorgeous templates and with the 24 seven support with Squarespace, you'll be up and running in no time. If you enjoy the free trial and you wanna continue with Squarespace, you can use my code TARMER at checkout and that'll get you an extra 10% off your future billing. What you gonna wear tomorrow for nobody to see except for you guys? Who knows? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> Good morning. Appreciative for another day, my friends. Um, just penned out my morning live workout class. Had my shower, I feel freshened up. I uh, didn't wash my hair, because I know I'm gonna be doing another workout probably tomorrow morning. But it's just up in a claw grip, which is actually so hard to do. Like it took me the longest to get my hair into the freaking clip. The hair is just so thick and I've got extra wide grips for thick hair but even still like trying to wrap it in like a cute chic low effort way actually becomes the most effort i digress but anyway i like how these little i digress but i like how these little bits kind of popped out around my ears um just a tiny bit of concealer a tiny bit of my glossier what you call it, the Glossier Matte Lipstick in Like. I just put a tiny bit on my cheeks and like a swipe of it on my lips. It's like what I use pretty much most days. I've got no foundation on or anything like that. And just pop you down. Um, I'm kind of actually quite sad because this is something that I would wear if I was running around Brooklyn in like springtime. I've got my Greats sneakers on. They're a shoe brand based out of Brooklyn. They're just kind of uh, classic leather sneakers that kind of go with everything oh these trousers oh my god they're like my favorite thing in the whole world this is my favorite cut of trouser and um, you'll know from like the last maybe year and a half i've been kind of collecting really great vintage tailored trousers like this and uh usually the ones that i like have this kind of double button same belt as the start of the video i think poshmark poshmark is my favorite place for vintage belts there's just so much choice there a top slash bralette situation i did a whole segment on like my favorite bras um currently and just like little loungy bralettes like this urban outfitters in my opinion has such a great selection of these type of things um i love their triangle bras they're kind of little bras like this this is actually a seamless one so this, this it's got no support like it's purely perfect for lounging it's so so comfortable but i feel like i can get away with it as a top and i just like i like the cut of it i like the shape of course i cannot stand being cold so in the events i get chilly or if i was actually like out i would kind of style it more with a cardigan i wouldn't say affectionately come to be known because i'm actually just annoyed by how much 
I, oh my god, let me take off this bobbin. I hate bobbins on wrists. Hair ties on wrists. My photographers out there will understand bane of one's life. It's the one I fall back on. It's the one I leave thrown over the chair. I think it's the alpaca cardigan from Everlane. And I have to say, if you were gonna invest in like one really great sort of versatile cardigan, get this one because in my opinion, it's just the perfect amount of slouch. It's the perfect thickness. Like it's not a thin cardigan, but not too thick either. And the color just goes with everything. And it's just lovely and soft. I do get it dry cleaned once in a while, but it doesn't get like dirty off and it doesn't need to be like, washed a lot and um, sometimes I like tuck it in I don't know I just love the little crew neck on it obviously add bonus Everlane is sustainable just get your like normal top size like if you're a UK 8 or size small or a US 4 just get like a small or an extra small you'll still have like plenty of room this is a medium for reference today I wanted to make lunch with y'all so let's do that I'm starving I mean we're not doing rocket science here I'm sure you can keep up so I'm not gonna like actually film too much of the cooking of it, but I am making a grilled cheese because I woke up just thinking, wow, wouldn't that just be fab for lunch? Free buttered with my vegan butter. Uh, here's one I prepared earlier, art attack style. Also, I've, I've gone buttered both sides because we're doing it in a pan. And even though this may seem excessive, some things the americans just do right so of course you're going to need a decent cheese i'm going with the uh kerrygold skellig sweet cheddar i'm not a cheese connoisseur i don't really like anything too mature it's just something about an irish person buying kerrygold when they're in the u.s it's just a taste it's a flavor of home fun fact i actually hate cheese unless it's melted um and then you haven't had the best grilled cheese of your life unless you've added a little bit of mayo so we're going for uh, a little sliver of that vegan mayonnaise. I want a really perfect grilled cheese because I'm doing it with tomato soup. So I'm gonna try a slightly different way of doing it. I'm gonna toast it open face in my air place pan and because it has a lid, hopefully the heat will just help melt the cheese because that's the hardest part, getting an even melt. morning welcome to another day of trying grateful to have made it to another friday i've literally just posted my week six of self iso diary entry on my instagram i've kind of been doing them every week and i don't know i always feel quite like reflective afterwards lights are on because it's a super gloomy rainy day outside it's one of those days where it's just raining all day long and i kind of wanted to wear something comfortable but that was also like kind of cozy we're trying a little combo that i've never worn before but it's the type of outfit that i save like all the time in my instagram bookmarks i don't think it's going to be for everyone but i know for a fact that most of you will appreciate this sleeveless camel turtleneck it's from a vintage store that I follow on Instagram called Nanin Vintage, I think. No, no, it's not. It's from a store called Girl of Mars. It's really reasonably priced. It's not like a super old piece. I think it's like United Colors of Benetton or something, but it's just sublime. And I'm very happy that I got my hands on it. It's a really just great little piece to have, I think. I haven't really been wearing a lot of knitwear this winter because it's been a warm winter. So something like this is perfect because I think I'll get maybe a little bit of wear out of it in the spring as well. This is probably gonna look a little unflattering, but bear, bear with me, bear with me. Uh, cycling shorts, obviously, these are my old Victoria's Secret ones. Obviously, I was not wearing the shoes before filming, so I was just kind of chilling around like this with my greasy hair that I've put back in an effort to kind of Keep it somewhat chic i know it's like a little it's a little weird like this but this is how i would style it if i was leaving the house i would do my uh vintage leather blazer for kind of this this little matrixy vibe i know for a lot of you this will be marmite but this is just the kind of style 
that I dig. I mean, you guys know I love sort of oversized, slouchy, androgynous man things. This is a men's leather jacket. I think I just got it secondhand on Poshmark. I think it's around a men's size 38 or like a medium for reference. Oh, I just love all of these textures layered up, but it's still such a comfortable outfit. However, maybe I should, maybe I should like tuck up my sweater a little bit. Maybe I should have like put them in the leggings. Well, I don't care. I vibe and that's all that matters. This is my world. You're all just living in it, in this square YouTube frame. This frame of pixels that you're watching me in. Maybe I'm not even real. We're all just in the matrix, guys. Back on here and have a chat with you. Let me update you guys. Honestly, guys, I'm not really uh, up to much today. I feel like with the gloomy weather, it's just, it's not really inspiring me uh, to do much today. I will, however, be continuing reading my book. I'll show you. I got a Kindle for Christmas and I finally had a reason to like get it, get it up and running. I am reading a sci-fi dune it's a super old book from like the 70s maybe late 60s i don't know why i've waited to read this for so long because sci-fi is probably my favorite movie and entertainment genre and this is apparently like the godfather it's like the thing that so many sci-fi movies are inspired by so so far i like the kindle vibe i like that i don't have to just collect a book that I don't necessarily want to keep forever. I'm just going to pick up a book again. I feel like in New York City and just any big city in general or anyone with like a go, go, go environment, you don't really have time to like just have nice little hobbies like sitting down and reading. Like as you know, I've been listening to so much music. You've all been enjoying my chill list on Spotify. I vibe to it every single day. Just Tarmer, space in between on Spotify join in join on the wave as i was saying it's nice to do those things without feeling the guilt because i'm always doing something else like with all of my spare time i'm just constantly creating content because it just comes so naturally to me but i'm trying to just force myself to also have hobbies because i haven't picked up a book in like six months and i love to read also i feel myself getting a little dumb in quarantine so it's always good to you know read words just been a bit of a tense a bit of a tense week i haven't been you know freaking out or anything but as you know i was working on my next visa application i'm currently on an o1 and i was applying for another o1 this time i also have you know my partner who is uh going to be my employee essentially and he's back home waiting to hear and the president pretty much announced that he'd be halting or signing some executive order halting like immigration and processing of work visas till further notice basically um that could be months it was already going to take a while but this morning i've just been kind of talking to my lawyers over email about kind of how to proceed and um, you know i'm surrendering to whatever happens but yeah it's funny how things play out isn't it like i really came around to the idea of staying here for the next two to three years after really adamantly saying you know the last two or three years that i was gonna go back to europe after my visa ended and now it just kind of feels like it was the rug's been pulled out from me a little bit but i'm not freaking out the universe will take me where it wants to take me everything will work out the way it's meant to as i mentioned on my instagram like a big part of removing stress for me is just being aware of what's going on but also not putting kind of expectation or fear or disappointment and, and giving the things that are making me anxious. Just not giving those things more power than they than they need to have. Um, life goes on. If you like the kind of free flow style of this video, I know it's not like very structured, but I really enjoy filming like this. And I think next week I'll probably do another daily, like day vlog style thing that I like I did last time because you guys have been killing it on the views and the comments and uh, if you're new and you're very welcome to the family but you guys seem to be kind of liking it there's some people that really love to see my outfits and want me to do more fashion videos but then the people that just like the vlogs don't really you know vibe with that so i think that this was just such a fun one to do where i just got to show you my outfits but also just little highlights of my day anyway my little angels it was a pleasure oh guys we could all do with a really big hug right now couldn't we Let's just all give ourselves like a mental virtual hug through the screen. Um, yeah, I will see you guys 
next week for another video i hope this was a nice little distraction so until then take care be safe and i'll see you soon